Yes. <coughs> this karika is also of importance. Nam alochana matra vishyate vritti. Here is talking of the vritti, the function. Vritti also means vyapara, the operation, and it also means function. So, and it also means states, as buddhi vritti, states of buddhi. Simply put, states of buddhi or mental states. But here it means function. Function of the cognitive senses, of the buddhindriyas, of the buddhindriyas. Rupa dishu, with respect to rupa etc. Shabdas parsha rupa rasgad, because these, all the objects of the world are, can be reduced to these five types. Shabdas, Parsha, etc. So he says that the function of the senses with respect to Shabdas, Parsha, etc. is merely Alochana Matra. Alochana Matra. Alochana means Grahana. Grahana. Merely to seize. Seize. S E I Z E. Seize. Which means that though indriyas are necessary, indriya contact is necessary with the arthas, yet indriyas themselves are unable to apprehend the objects in its special features. Yes, special features. It's alocharvat, right? And then that information is passed on to manas, ahankar, and to buddhi. And buddhi determines. Buddhi determines. You know? Ayam vrikshaha, like this. This is a tree. Sakanya, that is a small girl etc. So this is done at the stage of buddhi, but indriyas themselves are only able to seize a subject, seize a subject. Maybe we can say in this general features, general features. I don't know how to translate if anybody has that uh, uh, Shiv Kumar and the Anand Bhargav's translation, he may tell me how they have translated the word alochana. But Yukti Deepika translates it as grahana. Alochana matra. And uh, alochana matra means only alochana. Only alochana. Alochana. Bear awareness, you can say, bear awareness. Are you following? Bear awareness without grasping some of the special features of the object grasped in a distinct form, in a distinct form. And then he uh, 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 humorously explains, Yukti uh, Deepika, Matra Shabdo Vishesha Nivritti Artha. See, Matra Shabda, Vishesha Nivritti Artha. The Matra word, ha the word Matra has been used to, uh, uh, to remove, to remove inclusion of Vishesh features, Vishesh Nibritti, and special features. Yata Chando Matram Adhite Manavaka. When we say Manavaka, Ibalaha, 
a boy, Chando Matram Adhite. I'm skipping one line, just one example is enough. Chando Matram Adhite Manavaka. That boy reads merely the, studies merely the Vedas. When we say merely the Vedas, it means he studies nothing else. He reads nothing else. So Matra is always used in such senses, whether in Hindi, eh, eh, or in English, or in Sanskrit. As we say, he is only, only means he is nothing more or nothing less. He is only. And then we, is that clear? Rupadishu panchanam alochana matram ishyate vritti. Right? Vachana adana viharana usarga anandasya panchana. And the karmendriyas, karmendriyas. See, these two panchanam have different meanings. First panchas, pancha refers to jnanendriyas. And the second panchanam refers to, designates karmendriyas. Vachana, vachana, bolna, adana, to, 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 adan means to take, to take, a, see, as we hold things, adan, hold things with hand, adan, right? Viharana, walking, Utsarga, Anandas, releasing and pleasures, right? Which we respectively do to Payu and Upasta, right? Things like, I shouldn't be using that word, urination, etc. Urination and pleasure, etc. Anandas, or, or movement of bowels, right? That is Utsarga movement of bowels. Then there's a very good discussion regarding why Indriyas are only capable of alochana, are only capable of alochana, and why the rest of the job devolves, falls upon buddhi. Because just a moment, I'll take just a minute and a half to explain a few things. <coughs> See, Take, for example, the sentence Ayam Balaha Ayam Balaha Modakam Khadati. Modak, you understand? In North India, it's called Laddu. Laddu. Yes, yes, yes. Ayam Balaha Modakam Khadati. Or still a simpler example, but this example would do that this child is eating Laddu. Right? Modakam khadati is a special feature of this child, isn't it? It's a special feature. When you say this child, when you say to somebody this child, naturally the expectation arises, yes. What? What about this child? What do you want to say about this child? 
I say this lady. So this is not a complete sentence or a complete thought. A complete sentence means a complete thought articulated in language. So if I stop at I am Balaha, naturally you say, what does this mean? I am Bala, this boy. Or I say, this boy studies well, right? This boy is a good student. This boy studies, studies Chandam, only studies Vedas, etc., etc. Now think, let me come to a more, a more, sim, more rather simpler example. I say, this tree is green. If you study Yoga Bhashya, Vyasa Yoga Bhashya, when he discusses Pratyaksha, he discusses that what is special to Pratyaksha, and we are talking of Indriyas, we are talking of cognitive senses, and these cognitive senses, when they get into contact with objects, need to pratyaksha, isn't it? So, he says, we get knowledge of two things in pratyaksha, samanya and vishesh. Samanya means generality, generality. First of all, we know that something exists. And to say that something exists is different from saying nothing exists here. Apart from me, of course, nothing exists here. Nakanchidapi aschatra. Nakanchidapi aschatra. Right? Nothing exists here. That is, nothing is present here at the moment. Or, no kopi chhatraha astyatra. No student is here. Right? No student is here. Asmin kshane at this moment. Right? But if you say, if you say kechit, if you say kechit chhatra santi asmin kshane, Asmin kakshe, it's okay. In this room, there are some students present at the moment. Isn't it? What I'm trying to drive at is that there are general features like existence. Existence, astitva, or satta. which is represented in English by that, that. And the other English word is what. This is philosophical terminology. That what. That something exists. What that is. What thing that is. What sort that. Are you following? What is hai kya? Main ka to kuch hai. Like Tarka Bhasha says, kin chidasti. Kuch hai, something is there. At least you grasp, you grasp, you come to know that something exists. Right? You don't know what it is. Because perhaps you have not seen it properly. Or it is too far away as Sankhikarika also says, Dura, too far away. Say something is in the sky, but I can't see whether it is a plane or a bird. 
isn't it? But something is there in the sky. But when you say, oh, ye pakshi hai, nazdeek hota hai, it's a bird, you have said something special about an existent, an existent. जिस चीज की सत्ता है उसके बारे में आपने कुछ और विशेष बात बताई है कि ये पक्षी है कि ये हवाई जहाज है एरोप्लेन है ठीक है ना तो इनमें फर्क हुआ कि नहीं वो आप मुझे बताइए तो प्रत्यक्ष में फर्गेट अबाउट दिस प्रोसेस बुद्धि मन अहंकार मनस एंड इंद्रिया जस्ट टॉक जस्ट जस्ट एक प्रत्यक्ष एज इट इज तो योग से युक्ति दीपिका ऑफ कोर्स एंडोर्स योग से हेयर इट इज ए द प्रोसेस ऑफ जेनेसिस द प्रोसेस ऑफ जेनेसिस नॉट द एपिस्टेमिक थिंग ज्ञान स्वयं अपने आप में क्या चीज है उसकी अभी बात नहीं कर रहे अभी जेनेसिस की बात कर रहे हैं ठीक है ना उत्पन्न जब होता है तो कैसे होता है तो कहता है कि जब सामान्य और विशेषात्मक प्रत्यक्ष होता है एक तो सामान्य चीज का बोध कराता है जैसे कि एग्जिस्टेंस एग्जिस्टेंस सामान्य चीज है जैसे न्याय में भी आया है सत्ता सामान्य सत्ता सामान्य एग्जिस्टेंस belongs to everything that exists do do you know greenness does not belong to everything that exists i am not green at the moment perhaps though i i i may be blue but i am not green at the moment right is zara ho raha hai thoda ach i am not green at the moment but the trees here are green trees outside are green तो सामान्य एंड विशेष स्पेशल फीचर्स स्पेशल टू दैट ऑब्जेक्ट आई एम नॉट सेइंग यूनिक फीचर्स रिमेंबर आई एम नॉट सेइंग यूनिक फीचर्स आई एम सेइंग स्पेशल फीचर्स दो एवरी ऑब्जेक्ट इज यूनिक इन वर्ल्ड, बिकॉज एवरी ऑब्जेक्ट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द रेस्ट ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट do it is also similar to the rest of the object since it exists and other objects also exist so this similarity or dissimilarity exists between all the objects of the world all the objects exist yet they are different from each other in however smallest degree in however smallest degree i told you the other day even twins even twins are dissimilar one is born before another is born after so there is a there is a temporal difference kal ka fark hai unke janm mein theek hai na aur ye fark hai ye antar hai theek hai coming back to what i mean to say is that you should understand that to know merely that something exists is important but it is not enough and to know further that what i see as existing is green or red is a bird or a plane is to know something special about that object right after all i am not saying there is a fish flying in the sky fish normally are in the water right so this is alochana matra vishyate but buddhi determines this special feature is the task of buddhi buddhi says this tree, this tree is green or this child is eating modakas then i come to this line please come to this line because i have already done it 
बट आई वॉन्ट टू ड्रॉ युअर अटेन्शन टू इट उच्चते आह भवतु तवत् ग्रहण मंद्र ग्रहण मात्र इंद्रिय वृत्ति अप्रत्यया ग्रहण प्रत्यय प्रकाशा नाम इदानी को भेदा ही सेज दैट थ्री थिंग्स टेक्स टेक प्लेस आई विल नॉट एक्सप्लेन दम ऑल वन इज ग्रहण ग्रहण इज आलोचन आलोचन मात्र एज वी हैव डन जस्ट नाउ आलोचन मात्र एंड देन देर इज ग्रहण प्रत्यय एंड प्रकाश आई एल एक्सप्लेन जस्ट दिस लाइन ही सेज दैट यू हैव टॉक टू थ्री कॉन्सेप्ट ग्रहण प्रत्यय एंड प्रकाश so what is the difference between these uh, these three uchchate vishay samparkat vishay samparkat atad rupya patti indriya vritra grahana vishay samparka when there is a contact with any object tad rupya patti impression or modification of the indriya indriyas when they come into contact with objects they are affected by the object isn't it when a fan is placed before me i am affected by it i am affected by it right presence of anything which i notice affects me in some way or another however minutely however subtly it makes an effect upon me right so he says tadrupya patti indriya vritti grahan indriya vritti indriya vritti means function or operation of the senses is tadrupya patti is modified vritti is going to work going outward towards the object or its function is modified according as the object appears to it this i have already explained right have you followed that aspect or not yes and similarly the buddhi is affected by that buddhi can't create any features of the object which the indriyas have not seen indriyo ne jo cheez dekhi nahi hai बुद्धि उस चीज को जन्म नहीं दे सकती उस विषय के बारे में जिसके साथ हमारा संपर्क हुआ है ठीक है ये बात। अगर किसी विषय को हमने हरा देखा है तो बुद्धि ये नहीं कह सकती कि वो विषय नीला है या हरे के अलावा सफेद भी है ठीक है ना कोई चीजें हो सकती हैं जो हरी भी हों और सफेद भी हों कोई कपड़ा हो सकता है जो हरा भी हो एक तरफ से और सफेद भी चलिए आगे चलिए ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ वो स्किप वी कम टू थर्टी एथ युगपथ चतुष्ट तो वृत्ति क्रमश तस्य निर्दिष्ट दृष्टि तथा दृष्टि त्रिय से तत्पूर्व का वृत्ति इट सिंपली से दैट ऑल दीज थिंग्स एक्ट टूगेदर दो दे दो दिस हैपन सक्सेसिवली दिस सीम्स टू हैपन साइमल्टेनियसली राइट द प्रोसेस इज सो क्विक सो रैपिड दैट वी मेयरली डिस्टिंग्विशेज दैट देर आर इंद्रियाज और देर इज मन अहंकार और बुद्धि बट वेन वी रिफ्लेक्ट ऑन दीज थिंग्स देन वी फाइंड राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल एज आई टोल्ड यू when i am not noticing anything even if my senses are in contact with that thing i do not perceive that thing so that means merely senses are not enough and we have to introduce a faculty called manas which is a principle of 
not only imagination, but also attention, right? So and so forth. Then we move, move further. Swam sam tatipadjante paraspara kuta he to kam vrittim purushartha eva he to nakena chit kajate karana. I have to say a couple of things on this karika. I was only trying to understand the meaning of akuta he to kam. Otherwise, there is nothing in this karika. Generally speaking, which I have not already discussed. Swam swam pratipadjante paraspara kuta he to kam vrittim purushartha eva he turna kena chit kajate karan. He says, Swam swam pratipadjante vrittim. They attain. Swam Swam Pratipadjante, they attain. Swam Swam, their own. Their own. Swam Swam. Vrittim. They attain their own vritti. They attain their own function or operation. Paraspara kuta he to kam vrittim. Which function? Which operation? Paraspara kuta he to kam. Which is paraspar, reciprocal. Which is reciprocal. Ak akut means abhipraya. Akut means abhipraya. Meaning. Meaning. Abhipraya. Or rather desire. Desire. What is the meaning of this? Abhip iska abhipraya kya hai? Abhipraya. Or abhisandhi. Same thing. Abhisandhi. Suppose I see a flower, I see a flower, when I see a flower and I find that it is beautiful, flowers are normally beautiful, then my textual perception, my textual sense understands the meaning of my visual sense. Oh, it has seen that object. Now it wants to touch it. No, now it wants to oh, touch it. And when I touch it, then my olfactory sense understands the meaning of the two. Oh, it wants to smell the flower. So at least all the three senses, visual, tactual, and olfactory. Smell is olfactory? Yes, yes smell is olfactory. So, so it is smell karna, sungna, pool kasa. And you can distinguish between the smell of, of two different flowers only through the sense, not through buddhi, and not through God. <laughs> through the senses only. So God has given us senses. Descartes used to say, why should God deceive us? He, said, he has given us senses. Why should he play game with us? Right? He has given this human body, after all, it has different organs and they have a certain function, respective function. And that function can be performed only by them. If I close my ears, I can't hear. I can't hear unless I put in some hearing machine which can do wonders. 
So therefore, the point is that these senses perform their functions in cooperation with each other. Right? Tadipadyante paraspara kuta hetuka mvritti. Paraspara kuta hetuka. They understand the meaning of each other's understanding. Each other's understanding. Like the child sees chocolate. He first sees chocolate. And then he wants to catch it. He uses his organ of action. Hence, he sees through Jnanendriya and then through Karmendriya called hand, Pani, he catches it. And when he catches it, thinking that it is something to be e eaten, he puts it into his mouth and then tastes it. So, Karmendriyas are in operation along with Jnanendriyas. And again Jnanendriya, a different Jnanendriya. And he, he, uh, he tastes this. And then you see the reaction of the child. Whether he likes it or not. If he doesn't like it, he don't do that. <laughs> he does <laughs> When I, f when I took coffee for the first time, it looked, it seemed to me like burnt milk, burnt milk. I say, why should people like coffee? It was at the age of 21 or 2 in Delhi University ke coffee house, Indian coffee house, South Indian coffee house. How does it taste like? And then I got used to it. When I took it the second time, so it tasted better. <laughs> it's like that. So now the important thing is Purushartha Eva Hetur Nakinachit Karyate Karana. That these sense organs are propelled. Nakinachit Karyate Karanam. They are propelled into their respective functions to do their respective, to discharge their respective functions. Not instinctively, remember, not instinctively, purushartha eva hetu, but because they want to satisfy the objective of the purush, the ends of the purush, and that is to provide him bhoga, to provide him Bhoga, to give him something to enjoy. Purusha artha eva hetu. So what is the propelling reason? Purusha artha eva hetu. Otherwise there is not much difference. Even psychoanalysis would say that we taste and do see things because it satisfies us, because it pleases us. Must they would not agree that there is such a thing as self. But here it says, Purusha is there. The interest of the self. The, interest, the whole function of the body, as we have already noticed in Adhisthanat, Bhakti Bhavat, that the whole function of the body is to provide, is to provide experience to the self. So this is Purushartha Eva Hetur, Nakina Chit Karate Karanam, Nothing else propels the sense organs, whether organs of sense or organs of action. Is that clear? This is easy. I'm skipping it. I seem to have already touched upon it. Then move. What is 33 or 32? Show me. See, in the first karika he says, uh, what is that? Just a moment, you are 30 second. Kya hai? Karanam triyodashabidam. He says, the karanas, karanas are of 13 kinds, Ekadashendriyas 
and then ahankar and buddhi ahankar and buddhi man is included under the under the ekadash division and their purpose is aharan dharan prakash karan aharan to seize to grasp dharan to sustain prakash karam and to reveal right etc and now this karika antakaranam trividam dashada bhayam prayasya vishayakyam sampratha kalam bhayam trikalam abhyantaram karanam antakaranam trividam antakarana what is included under the category of antakarana it is of three kinds buddhi ahankara and manas is taken from from the from, from, from the broad category of ekadash indriyas manas is taken from there and man buddhi and ahankara are all constitute what is called antakarana internal organ karana means organ antakarana antakaranam trividam dashada bhayam and dashada bhayam and 10 organs five organs of uh, organs of uh, five sense organs organs of knowledge and or five organs of action and then it says triyasya vishayaksham antakaranam trividam dashada vayam triyasya vishayaksham he says that antakarana is antakarana comprises the organ called antakarana comprises three entities buddhi manas and ahankara dashada bhayam and then there are panch gyan indriyas and panch karma indriyas triyasya vishayaksham and they have their respective objects triyasya vishayaksham triyasya vishayaksham sampratha kalam bhayam trikalam abhyantaram karanam and then he says triyasya vishayaksham that the object of the uh, that the respective objects of antakarana and dashada bhayam are sampratha kalam bhayam sampratha kalam only the only the present objects external objects belong to motor organs and five cognitive senses abhyanta trikalam abhyantaram karanam and that abhyantara karana antakarana trikalam operates in all the three in all the three times says man can thinks of present things future things and past things and so can buddhi and so can ahankara how can ahankara thinks well ahankara is ego maker i can think of my past life of my life when i was 5 year old right but i cannot see that age do i have seen it i can recollect it if i retain my memory and if i do not suffer from amnesia right i can recollect it but i cannot be present at that moment now i cannot see it visually but i can think of it i can remember it as having been so and so it's like that therefore the main distinction between the antakarana and the and the dashakarana dashakarana is that sampratha kalam bhayam trikalam abhyantaram that they they operate only with respect to the present objects and the the other organ internal organ can operate with respect to all the times future times i can think for example of when the dissolution or when the pralay might come i can think of it scientists are thinking of it so thus far the lude has not come pralay abhi aayi nahi hai but scientists are thinking of it that it's possible that there is no beginning to the universe that it happens like that that perhaps the hindu idea is not all that 
far fetched or foolish of a beginningless universe. Yes. My son gave me, showed me an article uh, of this, uh, this, you know, the uh, cyclical view of the universe. Cyclical view. It is cyclical view. The Christian idea of the universe is like this. Here is the beginning and here is the end. Hindu idea is cyclical. There is no beginning. Or there are many beginnings. <laughs> there are many beginnings. Kai aramb hai. Ek koi aramb nahi hai. Koi adi bindu nahi hai. There is no first point. It goes on like that. That is, we cannot conceive of any first beginning. What is the meaning of first beginning? That means God created the universe. But why did God cre create the universe? Why did he have to create it? So we shall be attributing some desire to God. Because to do something, you need to desire to do that thing. Isn't it? If I am speaking at the moment, I desire to speak at the moment. Otherwise, though I am not conscious of it. Mere mein ichcha nahi hogi, to mein kyon bolunga? Unless I am forced by the police, oh, you have to speak here. <laughs> so I desire. So why did God ha have to desire? So things become more complicated. If you assign a desire to God, of, of course, metaphor metaphorically or figuratively or poetically, you can say, oh, God will let there be sky and there was sky. You can say it in poetic form, but logically it's very difficult to see. Why should God create a universe which is full of misery and pain and suffering? Yukti Deepika, that is why Yukti Deepika will later on reject the idea of God. So therefore, there is there is anadi, anadi sansara, anadi sansar, or anadi vasana, anadi vasana, anadi, which has no beginning. Do you understand the meaning of this? You follow what I am trying to say? What I am trying to say is that to say that creation has a first beginning is a more difficult idea to grasp than the idea that creation has no beginning. It goes, revolves on, on like that. There is Srishti, there is Thiti, there is Pralai. Again there is Srishti, Thiti and Pralai depending upon the karmas of the creatures, of the pranis. Thirty-six I have already done, I have explained. Ete pradipa kalpa paraspar vilakshana guna vishesha kristam purushasya artham prakasya buddha prayachanti that these three gunas paraspar vilakshana which are different from each other pradipa kalpa pradipa kalpa like the three elements factors in a pradipa kristam purushasya artham prakasya they why they reveal while they reveal all the objects to the self, purushasya artham, purushasya artham prakash, they reveal the objects for the self, but first of all, they submit that knowledge of the objects to buddhi, to the buddhi, so that buddhi may later on allow, buddhi may later on let the Purush, see them, experience them. Is that clear or not, or should I make it further clear? 
I've dwelt upon this idea on, on quite a few occasions in the last few days. That when objects are known, and objects we know because the self needs to know them. Purushasya artham. Just as we did in a, you know, in a 30th, 31st karika. Paraspara kuta he to kamriti. Purushartha eva he to naki najit karite karna. So the same thing is repeated here. That all this is known, known for the sake of the self. And the first of all, after knowing the objects, the indriyas, indriyas, after knowing the objects, first of all submit that knowledge to the buddhi and then buddhi submits it to the purusha for its experience. Isn't it?